Lucas Media, shout out to T-Way Sports and Culture. Let's get to it. Russell Simmons did an interview with uh, Graham Bensinger, and he spoke about the allegations that came across him. I'm going to play a little bit of the clip, and I'll give my two cents on it. Fair use. Hey, Look, there's a song by Houdini. I'm a hoe. You know, I'm a hoe. Yeah, three different girls after every show. Culturally, we thought that was the right way. And a number of sexual partners and compromising positions I put myself in is beyond anybody's imagination. You said you. So let me let me break that down. Russell Simmons is one of the original guys, and when I say original, meaning he was one of the top people, right? Founder of Def Jam, Fat Farm, Def Comedy Jam. So he was going to have the cream of the crop of selection. So when you're young with hundreds of millions of dollars and people are throwing themselves at you, of course you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Let me keep going. You had more foursomes than most men have partners. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, and that was, that wasn't really, that was just, I think it was cultural and silly and egotistic and, and sad and, and from an insecurity that feeds it and a lot of reasons why we were that way. If you slept with as many people as I slept with, thousands. And we talking about six people. There were like. So okay, let me stop right there. So and also they're in. Uh, I think Bali. They're somewhere over in Asia. Anyway, uh, I mean, what he said was true, right? You know, when you had that kind of money and and like you said, your insecurities, and we're taught in our culture to be. To be out here wilding, wilding out. You know, you're not, we're not taught to really settle down and only be with one person. You know, even, even myself included in my 20s. Oh, oh, you, you know, enjoy yourself and, and be with as many people as you can. I was taught this as, as, as a teenager. All right, let me play the rest of the second clip, y'all. 20, right? I mean, the, oh, the oh, range oh, from I assault to oh, you mean rape. Like, that's not no yeah. ice. My bucket's leaking. My bad, y'all. Commercial and kicked in. To, to fifteen of them, I mean twelve of them. I spoke poorly all the time. I'm a deaf comedy jam guy. I was crude. So how many compromising situations was I in? And if you call that person and say, "Can you help me help these other women?" And you can get them to tell a story and reimagine a story. And I'm not here to say what they were thinking. But I can simply tell you that I was in so many compromising situations that people can have a recollection from 30 or 40 years ago. And it can be different from my recollection. And it could be one where there was perhaps collaboration. All right, let me stop it right there. And that's something that unfortunately we don't want to admit as as a community it goes both ways right let's say russell women people say oh russell simmons is out there targeting a certain you know targeting certain women and and throwing his money and wealth around you know basically saying hey let's do favors this that and the third but what we don't talk about is the other side historically right historically women have wanted to be with men of high stature we can go all the way back to the 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 Qin, the original Qin Dynasty of China, the original foundation of Russia, the original African um, countries back in the day. I mean, I can start. We can name time after time. There's always women, and usually young women, who will try to do anything that can to get to the top. We can just even think about Cleopatra historically. Got Mark Anthony out there jumping in the in the Mediterranean Sea. And let, let me talk about the recollection part. Yeah, people will, people will, you know, when you're younger, a lot of times, a lot of these sisters, you know, you're younger and you're trying to be with the with the man and then you might have regrets years later and say, oh, if I can, you know, the older you might not want to do it. But that doesn't mean that a Russell Simmons or somebody took advantage of you, you know, and you're seeing that now people are coming out and saying, oh, this happened to me in 1983 when I was 20, 21 years old, but you snuck to the hotel room, 
you came out of the closet and then, you know, you got your birthday suit on. And then when things happen 30 years later, 40 years later, you cry foul. And that's really hard. You know, that's hard to. We, 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 and, but it's, it's hard to bring it up because then people say, oh, you're insensitive and you're against that. No, that's not true. I have daughters, you know, and I tell them stuff like that, all the stuff like this all the time. But we got to be honest and realize that it comes on both ends. You know, yes, Russell has money and and enjoyment and, you know, he can flaunt his money and plot fry private jets and all of that, you know, and, and, and have orgies all day from 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 here to Kalamazoo. However, those people wanted to be with him as well because of the status that comes with it. And uh, y'all go check out Benjamin Graham's, uh, I mean, Graham Ben Singer's YouTube channel. I just want to play a little bit of a clip again, fair use. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all truly feel about all of this. Russell Simmons, I mean, he did go overseas, so people, a lot of people can't say that. But then, do you really know that's why he went over there? I know uh, he also came out of, uh, on on Kamora because Kamora tried to say he did this, that, and the third. But you had two kids, and you had a 20 minute hour penthouse next to the Twin Towers. And for my older audience, go back and watch that old video on on um, MTV Cribs. Y'all don't remember, remember back in the day, and it showed Russell Simmons and Kimura and that huge penthouse before the Twin Towers went down and at the end of the video it said they had to move when 9-11 happened so when you have these these multi-billion dollars you got a 15,000 square foot home in New Jersey and it's cool then but then now it's not I mean we got to just be honest man as people right and again y'all let me know am I tripping give me y'all point of view again we don't have to agree I'm just giving me my opinion. Tell me what y'all think about all this.